Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we got to watch a thing on the uh, computer here about Junpei in his messy room. We also got to hang out with Fuka for the first time. And we also got to max out our courage stat. I listed all of those things in the complete opposite order that they happened. In this episode, we're actually going to head back downstairs and we're going to talk to... Uh, Mitsuru here uh, in just a sec because she actually has a thing that we can hang out with her. Also today is June 22nd which means that it is the birthday of Yosuke Hanamura from Persona 4. Uh, in 2009 he'd be 15 so happy birthday to him. The other day I stumbled upon something online while doing some research. Apparently there was an unexplained, exp unexplained explosion near our school 10 years ago. At the same time a large number of students refused to attend school. The news report stated that the incidents were somehow related. That's all there is to the story. Now it's all in the past, but doesn't that make you curious? Hell yeah, it does. Some crazy plot stuff just got dropped while just casually talking to Fuka there. It really does seem like the shadows are progressively getting stronger. Although, that's not something to be too concerned about. If we put in enough effort, we'll win. If we don't, then we'll lose. Pretty simple right. stuff. That means there's nothing for us to do right now but keep climbing Tartarus and building up our strength. Don't worry, we'll be able to go into Tartarus pretty soon. Yes. Anyways, hello Mitsuru. Oh, it's you. Do you have some time to spare right now? The company heads gifted me some quality tea leaves. I'd be happy to serve you a cup. In order to better appreciate the tea blend, it's better to brew enough for you too, you see. Uh, Mitsuru asked me to join her for tea. Should I spend some time with Mitsuru? What do you say? Sure. Thank you. Wonderful. I'll start with the preparation. Help yourself to the snacks as well, if you'd like. Today, I wanted to show my thanks for your hard work, as well as check in to see how you're doing. Ever since you joined us, you've been taking on a lot of responsibility as leader of our group. Have you been running into any trouble? If you have, please don't be afraid to let me know. Not really. I mean, we've been able to juggle Tartarus stuff pretty well. We haven't had too much trouble with the bosses or with getting to the, to the top of Tartarus. And in terms of our social life, everything is going great. I mean, there's a few people that I'd like to hang out a bit more with, but not we're not really facing any problems. So, yeah, not really. Well, that's good to hear. I have to say, I'm always inspired by the way you remain calm no matter the situation. Your cup is empty. Let's pour you another. Mitsuru and I enjoyed tea together. It's late. We ended up spending a lot of time here. Let's turn in for the night. Oh, I'll take care of the cleanup. I'm glad we had the chance to talk today. I'd like to invite you again when the opportunity arises. Then with that, I bid you a good night. Surprised? Truth be told, we all visit this world every night. What are you saying? Who the hell are you? <sighs> Didn't mommy teach you any manners? You haven't even introduced yourself. Come on, take a look. Name, address, age, etc. This is you, right? Where did you get this? Somebody's got a grudge against you. And they asked us to get revenge. Revenge? What kind of bullshit is this? Who put you up to this? Can't tell you. We're professionals. Professionals? Oh shit. Those rumors online. You're saying they're true? For real? Shall we get this over with now? Hey, wait! I haven't done anything! Why me? What'd I do? 
That is not our concern. Your notion of right and wrong is irrelevant. My client's wishes are all that matter. People hear what they choose to hear, and believe what they want to believe. No! Stay away! Get away from me! You squeal most magnificently. Such raw emotion. He's not dead. Doesn't matter. We held up our end of the bargain. Besides, tomorrow this will just seem like some random crime. Well, if there's nothing else. I'm feeling rather tired. Have you heard? Have you heard of this revenge website? If you post them someone's name on the website, they'll get revenge for you. It's a 100% guaranteed success rate and completely anonymous. Seriously? Give me the URL. I want to check it out now. Jeez. Well, it's just a rumor, so I, I don't know the details. Why are you so desperate anyway? A revenge website. I wonder if it's a new ghost story. Gosh, loud female student has some enemies, apparently. Just hears about revenge website that kills people. Immediately. Just... Done. I mean, I guess, technically, she didn't hear that it kills people, but... I assume the joke there is that she desperately wants to kill someone. Let's hang out with Chihiro today. Good afternoon. Another sudden request. Sorry, do you have time to help me study? I'm thinking about the illustration collection and I'm having trouble concentrating. I feel like having you around would help me focus. It'd be good to see you, Fushimi. Oh, hello, Yuki-san. If you're later today, I was hoping we could study. I forgot to read that last part. What a oh, thank goodness. I was hoping you'd say yes. I wonder if there's still room in the library. I'll go ahead and find us some seats. That missing fee money from the other day still hasn't turned up yet. No one said anything to me, but I know what they're all thinking. I can't take this anymore. I... I don't want to be here. I... I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't say that. I'm supposed to be a member of the student council. I'm going to look for some books. Yeah, there's no way it could have been anyone else. It's gotta be her. It's that first year on the student council, Fushimi. The gloomy girl with the long hair and glasses. The one who's always reading. I hear she stole all the class's money. 2,500 yen per person. <laughs> Damn, I could buy a brand name purse with that much. Well, I heard she has no father. So there's no way they could have that much money, since her mom only works part-time. See? How could it not be her? And with such an innocent face, too. That's all a misunderstanding. Huh? Who even are you? Is he a friend of Fushimi-san's? <laughs> Probably not. He doesn't look like the type that would hang out with her. Excuse me, this is the library? Please show some respect. <laughs> Let's go outside. We can finish talking there. I couldn't find any books. Aww. She here looks like she's about to cry. She must have heard everything. Let's go. You heard all that, right? There have been rumors going around my class. The only time I feel safe now is when I'm with you. I don't really have anyone else I can count on. I know you're innocent is the best option here. Oh, thank you. You're the only one who's on my side. I don't know what I'd do on my own right now. I, I'm sure I sound like I'm helpless, but, um, I'm okay, just so you know. I don't think it's right for me to always be counting on you. I have to solve this on my own. I feel like I understand Chihiro a little better now.
gosh, I forgot about how much the social link makes you feel bad for her. It's just... She's so sweet, and she goes through just the worst stuff imaginable at school. School day is almost over. I have to go now, senpai. Excuse me. Parted ways with Jahira, then went back to the dorm. Hi, how are you today? Just one? I'll have what he's having. Hmm? Coming right up. One house special. Don't you get sick of eating the same thing all the time? Shut up. You're the one always eating that protein shit. <laughs> Here you go. One house special. Uh, be careful. It's hot. So, you still haven't made up your mind? Is that what this is about? We've got four new members this year. Things have changed quite a bit since you left. We're more aggressive now. Not interested. Think about it, Shinji. Don't let your power go to waste. My power ain't worth shit. Shinji. I made up my mind a long time ago. I ain't going back. You have to let the past go. What's done is done. It's time you moved on. <laughs> you should talk. What? Face it, you're no different than me. Uh, hey, Shinji. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. There are two weeks until the next full moon. Let's train and build up our strength while we can. Oh, it's time for another boss fight? Heh, <laughs> wonder what we're gonna be up against this time. Not gonna lie, I'm getting kinda excited. With both Akihiko and Yoria around, serious conversations are starting to sound like a joke. Speaking of Akihiko, has he returned yet? Guess not. Maybe he went for a quick bite somewhere? That's more true than you realize, Junpei. I mean, I sure feel excited. But that doesn't mean I'm tr treating this like a game, you know? I just really want to take him down. Honestly. I wonder where Akihiko is. If he's going to be late, he should at least have the courtesy to call me. So, let's go ahead and hang out with Fuka, because, again, I think Yukari's thing is courage. Uh, and Fuka will help out with the plants. Um, yes, can I help you? What are you doing? Oh, Yuki-kun, how are the rooftop planters doing? Quality of the produce might improve, we tend to root it. Can I help with your gardening again? That'd be great. Okay, let's head to the rooftop then. Huh? There are white spots on the leaves here. I think I've seen something like this in a book at the library. It might be a common disease in vegetables and flowers. What do we do? What if the plants die? Uh, how did the book say to fix it? W oh, right. If we take care of it now, it might not be a problem. From what I can tell, it doesn't look too serious yet. Um, what did the book say? We just need to cut off the white parts and... <gasps> That's right! Vinegar! It's said to put some diluted vinegar on the affected areas. I'll go get some from downstairs. I tended the rooftop planters with Fuka. <sighs> I think that's about everything we can do. We've picked up the fallen leaves, and the air circulation is good now, too. Everything should be fine now. All that's left is to trust they can recover. Thanks to the care we put in, it looks like this will be a big harvest. Thank you for today. I wouldn't have been able to save the plans if you hadn't been here. I'm still a little worried, but... Please let me help out again sometime. Morning. Hey, is it just me or has Yucatan been acting weird lately? Sort of. Yeah. You notice it too? She's been thinking way too hard about why Tartarus exists and all that. I mean, who cares, am I right? Alright, is Yuko available? Yes, she is, so... If I have the st uh, strength persona, which I do, 
We could go ahead and hang out with her. I feel like it's been way too long since we last talked with her, so it'd be nice to catch up with her again and see how the uh, kids are doing with the track and field. Hey, ah, hey, Yukikun, are you free right now? Those kids had their race and they said they want to talk to us. Okay, I'll go ahead and call them over then. I wonder how they did. Now I'm getting nervous. Coach and the boyfriend! Coach! We raced them all one on one and two of us actually won! That means we tied the sixth graders! Can you believe it? They said they're gonna let us use the schoolyard now! And they wanna be friends with us! They think we're pretty fast for fourth graders and told us we should play together sometime! I never had a doubt. I know how hard you all worked. Wow, thanks. Um, big sis? <laughs> you don't have to call me that if you don't want to. Auntie Yuko is fine. One, two, three. Good, Good luck, luck with, with your boyfriend! boyfriend. Ah, <sighs> they called you my boyfriend till the very end. Want to make that true? Oh, okay. Wait, huh? Hey, don't laugh! Joking like that is bad for my heart. Oh, you really got me. Saying something like that out of nowhere. You know what this feels like? The end of some cheesy high school drama series. Like the kids have left the nest best option to say here is, are you relieved? Well, of course. I was constantly worried someone would get hurt. To be honest, it was tough at the beginning, but now that they're gone, it feels kind of lonely. Teaching those kids how to race, it was pretty fun. They looked so happy every time they got faster, and it made me happy too. That feeling of wanting to help them just kept growing bigger and bigger. You know, this might have been the first time I really put my heart into something. And it's not that I've been slacking off as a team manager, but maybe helping and teaching people is more of my thing. Kind of made me think about the things I should do for my future, I mean. Oh, by the way, I wanted to thank you. Maybe we should throw a little party, you know, to celebrate our first attempt at coaching. Best option to say here is let's do it. I can't wait. Hmm, now where should we have the party at? I kind of want it to be somewhat fancy. I'll look around for a place. Yuko is full of enthusiasm. I feel like our relationship has grown. I didn't have much confidence at the beginning. So you being here with me was really... Well, let's talk about that next time. We'll have plenty of time at the party. Shall we head home? I left school with Yuko. Have we gotten to hang out with Sonata yet? If not, that's cool. We get to hang out with him now. Shanda's come in all shapes and sizes, huh? Well, they're all creepy as hell. I wonder how they'll, they'll end up looking the way... I wonder how they end up looking the way they do. Salut. Our abilities are quite inexplicable. Not just anyone can acquire them, and we're still unaware of what exactly triggers an awakening. And yet... We would be quite lost without our abilities, wouldn't we? Hey. Our Persona's abilities are amazing, aren't they? Secret powers that only we have. It's actually pretty cool, huh? It's kind of a shame we can't tell anyone about them. Hey, do you know how to cook? I have to eat enough to make up for what I've been... what I've burned during training, so it ends up being a lot of food. It's easier to just cook it all at once. I'd appreciate your help if you have the time. So, can I count on you? Sure, I'll help. Thanks. Then let's get to it. Chicken tenderloin, eggs, broccoli. We're gonna boil them one after the other. This is a staple for an athlete. Full of valuable nutrients and not too hard to cook either. The problem is what comes after. Next, you gotta portion everything out and then put it in the freezer. It's a lot of work. You sure work hard. <laughs> Not really. I'm just lazy, so I want to do everything in one go. But if I want to get stronger, I have to do whatever it takes. Alright, let's get started. 
<sighs> it's done. This should last for a while. That really went by fast. The work is so much more efficient with two of us. Here, you take some too. It's perfect for a midnight snack, since it won't really put on fat. I know your diet is important for building a strong body, but I'll admit, I'm not much of a cook. I could use your help again sometime, if you don't mind. I might be able to try something more elaborate with your help. Maybe I should buy some pig's feet. I hear they're rich in collagen. I really like that line from Akihiko. No, I'm just lazy, so I like to do everything in and one go. Everyone understand the Lorentz force and the left hand rule? Then I'm erasing the board. Hopefully all of you have been taking notes because it m might be on the exam in two weeks. My shoulders feel lighter than usual today. I can even erase the top of the bl blackboard with ease. Perhaps it's because I went to the bathhouse yesterday. I had a nice long massage in the whirlpool bath. So... Which brings us to my next question. When streams of air bubbles from a whirlpool bath hit you, your body vibrates, yes? There's actually a name for this phenomenon, Iori. Perhaps you... There's actually a name for this phenomenon. Iori, perhaps you know what it is. What? Uh, dude, how would I know? Hey, you got any idea, Makoto? What's it called when the air bubbles in a whirlpool bath hit you and make your body vibrate? That is called the flutter effect. You got it. Oh, I suppose you already knew that. That's right, the answer is indeed the flutter effect. Flutter refers to the small vibrations generated by interactions between airflow and other forces. It's not just the whirlpool baths that have benefits. Have, do you ever feel itchy after taking a regular bath? It's said taking a warm bath can improve blood circulation throughout the body. And as the body warms up, the blood vessels dilate, flushing your body of all toxins all at once. You can simulate the section of hist histamine, which often makes the body itch. Hot baths may feel marvelous, but it's best to take them in moderation. Lukewarm water, on the other hand, helps cleanse the skin. Hmm, I digress. Now then, let's get back to class. Open your books to page 8. <laughs> Man, now I want to try taking a dip in a whirlpool bath. Think we could ask Kirijo senpai for one in the dorm? Alrighty. Damn it, I forgot, uh... Yesterday was June 24th, which is the birthday of Ken Amada. You remember that kid that we met in... at the shrine with Yukari and Junpei? Uh... Today is his birthday. He is 11 years old today. So happy birthday to him. Okay, we can't hang out with Chihiro, so Tomochika it is. Yuki, if you got time, could we talk? Alright, then today's ramen is on me. You're good with ramen, right? Yeah, let's do ramen. Hey man, I was gonna wait to tell you this until we sit down to eat, but I've decided to go to Kyushu with Emiru, so this'll be the last time we have ramen together. Miri? Who's that she's with? I didn't think he'd get so serious about it. He's just a kid. He must have misunderstood. I did it for my own track record as a teacher. He should be grateful. Seems like he's the one who spread the rumors. And now other students are... Just a little longer. We'll celebrate our wedding soon enough. I can't wait. Emiri. So, I guess today was the day she was leaving. I had no idea. I was so excited about going with her that I... I... Best option to say here is, let me handle this. It's fine, I'm okay. <sighs> Thanks though, man. It's not Emery's fault anyway. I screwed things up, not her. Why, Emiri? Why? <laughs> now my nose is running. <laughs> Thanks. If you weren't here, I'd... Tomachika's trying to tough out the pain. I feel like a relationship is stronger. See, this is why that social link sucks. It's because it's just Tomachika being the worst the entire time. The entire time, it's just him fawning after a teacher, and then he 
and then he gets private lessons from her because she thinks he's stupid. So, so he starts spreading a rumor that he's dating this teacher, and then is surprised when she has to move away because of the actions of his consequences, and then he cries about it. It's like, why? Why would you ever want to date an adult man and not a child? Like, what? It's just so stupid. I get that he's a teenager, and teenagers are stupid, but that doesn't make it any less annoying. Oh, that reminds me. Even though there's time until the next full moon, we had best use that time wisely. Of course, training in Tartarus is one way to prepare. Whenever you are inclined to do so, do not hesitate to ask me to join you. You always seem so unbothered. Do you have no regrets or something? Uh, sorry, I was just curious. I didn't mean anything by it. Oh, I think we could actually hang out with... Uh, oh, Fuka actually has... Uh, we've been doing her um, uh, plant hangouts, but we actually haven't done her book hangouts yet. Um, yes, can I help you? Uh, what are you doing? Um, do you like to read books, Yuki-kun? You see, there's this near-future sci-fi series that was popular a while back. I found it at a used bookstore and bought the whole series, but it's been sitting on my shelf for a long time. I only started reading it after moving into the dorm, and it's really interesting. Oh, so this actually helps out with our academics, which is cool, because we have an exam upcoming. If you're interested, would you like to read the first book? Sure. Glad to hear it. Okay, I'll go get them from my room. I know that things have been kind of fuka centric recently, but, you know, she just joined. There's a lot of stuff to do with her. And plus, you know, she's fun to hang out with. Do you read a lot of science fiction novels like this? I read them quite a bit, I'll just say. Oh, wow. I guess it's good that I invited you today, then. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt while you were reading. If you don't mind, can you let me know your thoughts once you finish it? Oh, I didn't notice the time. How far did you get? <gasps> wow, you've read that much already? Huh? I made a lot of progress too. Was I more focused than usual, or...? I feel like my academics have improved thanks to the skillful expression in the writing. Mind, do you think we could read here again sometime? I used to think reading was only a solo activity, but now I think reading with someone helps me immerse myself deeper into the fictional world. I'm here whenever I can spare the time, so come by if you can. I'd be happy to have you. All right, that's enough for today. Good night. So yeah, as you might have noticed, they're hanging out with people can also uh, help further their social link. It's just by a little tiny bit. Um, but yeah, it's still nice to have it as a perk. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. So yeah, those are the uh, final two people that are going to be missing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and do a social link and then we'll go to Tartarus and then end off the episode. I know that this episode is a bit longer than usual, but it'll help us have a more natural stopping off point. All right, so I know it's Friday, so logically we should hang out with Fuka, but we can go ahead and just finish up Tomochika's social link finally, so... Oh god, he snapped. Hey cutie, Yuki-san, are you free today? Let's go on a date. I wanna eat ramen together. Hey, sup? Got nothing to do today. If you're not busy, let's go get some ramen. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna get an extra large special today and... Hmm, should I also order a rice bowl? Another day, another bowl of ramen. By its simple appearance, the soup has a complex flavor that's enhanced by the noodles. Damn, this really is some bomb ramen. How could I ever leave this city? <sighs> Miss Kano must be in Kyushu by now. I wonder if she had her wedding already. I'm stealing your egg. Hey, dude, give that back! That egg's all I got in this world, man. Hand it over or else. We chatted for a while. Man, it's always a blast hanging out with you. That said, I still want a girlfriend. 
You got this, buddy. Totally. Yeah, dude! And you can be my wingman! Let's go pick up some chicks. Uh, no, 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 no. I I'm getting off track. I've been doing some thinking after everything that went down. When Emmy left, I was sad, sure. But on top of that, I felt really dumb. Did I really love Emmy Re? Or did I just love the idea of dating a teacher? I thought about it a lot. But I couldn't figure it out. What I did figure out is, you're a true friend. Are we still talking about love? We're talking about the heart, dude! Don't you feel it? Just shut up and feel it! Anyway, here, take this. I made it for you. Figured you could pull it off. Your fashion sense is kind of, uh, so I wanted to help you out. I mean, that's what best friends do, right? It's a symbol of our friendship. Tomochika told me I'm his best friend, but he's certainly not mine. I feel a strong bond with Tomochika. Although I guess technically from a numbers perspective, he is our best friend. Thou. Thou art oh God. I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the magician Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the magician within thyself. So yeah, once you complete a social link, you get an item to go with it, and you also get the ability to fuse a new persona. Man, I worked up an appetite acting all weird around you. More eggs, please. Make it ten. How much you and I spend hours hanging out? Well, thank God that thank God that's you're over. Back. Oh, you're back. I'm heading out for a bit. I'll be back late. Oh, the crops on the roof are good, so. Gosh, I'm sorry, Yukari. I wish I could hang out with you because I remember your hangouts being really fun. Um, harvest these bad boys. Get three healthy tomatoes and four big healthy tomatoes. Very nice. Thank you, Fuka, for helping us out with that. July 6th. We're already getting close to July in game. Does that mean we're getting close to being halfway through the game? I'd still say we probably have another month or so before we're halfway through the game, but... We are getting farther in this game than I thought we were. The mood around here has been so serious lately, I thought I would lighten things up. So today I'll be performing my top 20 puns for everyone. Seriously? Dude, why is he even here? <laughs> oh. This is one of the chairman's indulgences. As to whether his jokes are actually humorous or not, well, it would be quite boorish of us to make such comments on the matter, on the matter to his face. you will simply have to get used to it. Just try to ignore him if it gets to be too much. I know the chairman means well, but sometimes I just don't know how to react to his jokes. But I also feel bad pretending I didn't hear him. What should I do? Be true to your heart. I do think it's important to listen to your heart, but this is a special exception. <laughs> if I tell him his jokes aren't funny, it'll hurt his feelings. Uh, just fake a laugh. Yeah. You're right. Like this? Oh, Mr. Chairman, that's so funny! <laughs> You might need to work on that. You're just like me. You're bad at faking laughs. Okay, apparently- Okay, who can't go? Oh, Akihiko. Why must you do this to me so... <sighs> okay. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video here without going into Tartarus. I thought that I would be able to go in there, but I don't want to go in without Sonata. So... We're just gonna wait, and if it gets too close to the full moon, then we'll just have to go in without him, and he'll just have to be under-leveled during the, uh, what's it called? During the boss fight. Unless we just don't take him at all during the boss fight. I don't know. We'll just see how things happen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, we're gonna pray that Sonata actually stops... I don't know, doing whatever he's doing with Aragaki and actually decides to help us out with fighting. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!